Hi divers, this is Alec Pierce from Scuba 2000 again with another tech tip. Hopefully some ideas that will make your diving more fun, a bit easier and maybe safer too. Today I want to talk to you for a moment about BCs. Buoyancy compensators have become a very important piece of diving equipment. This in fact allows you to go up and down, critical if you're a scuba diver obviously. BCs also support you on the surface if you need some extra support in the surface, you want to relax. A very very important piece of equipment, critical as a matter of fact. As well, BCs New BCs, sophisticated BCs, are getting very expensive. It's almost impossible to buy a BC for much less than three or four hundred dollars. Five or six hundred dollars is not uncommon, and it's easy to spend eight, nine, or a thousand dollars from a BC. My point is this: one, you want to be sure your BC is in good working order when you're scuba diving, and secondly, you want to last a long time. It's a big investment. Let me see if I can help you with some ideas that are not in the owner's manual. This is a pretty typical modern BC. We service these all the time. If you want to keep your BC in good shape, you can do one of two things. Bring it to me, first of all. Bring it to Scuba 2000. We service BCs all the time. For about $35 or $40, we do a complete check. Every strap, every clip, every part of your buoyancy cotton set. We rinse it, we clean it, we do the dump valves. We rebuild entirely the all-important power inflate valve and bring it back to you, give it back to you in like new condition. If you don't want to do that, you can do a lot of that work yourself. Do exactly what we do here at Scuba 2000. First of all, take your own BC and check every snap and clip and strap on it. There are a lot of them. The buoyancy compensator has usually a cummerbund of some sort. Check the Delco, make sure it's clean with a stiff brush. Put it back together. Check all the clips and the straps, make sure they all work. When you take your BC out of your dive bag and put it onto a tank, thinking you're gonna jump into the water and have a great dive, you wanna be sure it's working properly. So check it every once in a while. Clean everything, check the zippers, the straps, the shoulder clips. Check every part of the buoyancy compensator to make sure it's working properly, that it's clean and in good shape, ready to go diving. That's exactly what we do. You can also do some of the mechanical parts, the parts that normally divers don't service. For example, most BCs have at least one dump valve, some have two or three. Take a look at the dump valve, it's really a very simple mechanism. You can unscrew the cap, very simple. Cap comes off, and underneath the cap, you'll see the opening to the inside of the buoyancy compensator. This mechanism is very simple. Rinse it really, really well. Put a little bit of silicone pump spray, not aerosol spray, on the threads. Clean it up nicely. Put it back together. Now, be very, very careful at this point. These are plastic caps, plastic threads. If you cross-thread it and ruin it, it ruins the BC. It cannot be repaired. Same for this very, very important power mechanism at the front. You can take the entire power inflate mechanism off the BC, just like so. Now, when you do that, be very careful. A lot of people don't realize it, but there's a rubber washer, and it often, like that, it often falls. Without that rubber washer, the BC won't work. So keep that. Keep it very clean in there. Clean off these threads. Clean off these threads. Clean the entire mechanism. Soak it in water. Rinse it really, really well, and that will help it to stay in good shape, ready to work. You cannot build, rebuild easily yourself this very important power and plate mechanism. That's something really that a dive store needs to do. Bring it to us so we can do that very easily for you. Again, be careful, put the threads back on, put the BC back together. Now, we come to an important part of BC care, and that is cleaning the BC. How do you clean the BC? Well, the first thing you need to do is blow the buoyancy compensator up. At the end of the week of diving, here's what you do. Blow the buoyancy compensator up. Okay, blow it up orally, or you see holes from your regular blow it up so it's nice and full. Then, take the power inflate mechanism, and you see the hole right here, take it to the closest tap, garden hose, whatever you have, hold the valve open, and let water, make water go in through there. It goes right down the tube and inside the BC. We'll put lots in. Put in several liters, a couple of gallons maybe, so the BC has quite a bit of water inside, maybe a third full of water. Then take the BC, full of air and with water, turn it upside down, shake it all around. That's a good, that's a name for a song. Shake the BC all around. So that, that fresh water gets all through the BC, rinses it completely. Leave it blown up, blown up for a little while, and let that, uh, let that fresh water do its work. Then dump it out. When you dump it out, water will come pouring out, hold it upside down, dump all that water out. If you taste that water, it'll taste salty. That means there was salt in your BC. No way to avoid that. Rinse it out. What do you do next? Repeat. Do the same thing again. Blow the BC up, put a bunch of water in it, rinse it around. Now when that water comes out, it should be fresh. It should taste okay. Finally, blow the BC up one last time. Let it sit and the buoyancy compensator. Let it dry like that and your BC will last a long time. As far as this mechanism is concerned, very important and subject to a, 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 lot of, a lot of salt and so on. There is a tool, a toy, a, a device that you can buy at any decent dive store. looks like this. It has a garden hose fitting on one end, and it has, oh my gosh, it's a BC connector on the other. You can put that connector on your buoyancy compensator, like so. Connect this to a garden hose or a laundry tub tap. Turn the water on, and push the button, 
and the BC fills with water. It's amazing. And that water now, that fresh water is going right through this power inflate mechanism and cleaning it out. It's almost as good as a complete overhaul. If you do that once in a while with this very simple accessory, your BC will be in great shape and last a very, very long time. One more thing that you can do as a diver when you do this cleaning is you can use BC Life. That's what it's called, BC Life. It comes in little one quarter ounce, one use packages, or you can buy a whole bottle, use a little bit. You don't need much. Put a little bit of that inside the BC when you do that second rinse. Dump it all around on the inside with the water. That spreads the whole inside, gets rid of the salt and any calcium deposits, and it has silicone conditioner to keep the BC, the inside of the BC, working really well and in nice shape. You do that, take care of your expensive and very important BC, and it will always be ready to serve you. Hope this has been useful to you. Alec Pierce, Skiba 2000. See you again soon.